in their love of postage stamps. I'm not sure. But all kidding aside, like, even for a movie where, you know, you can't be a, too overt in talking about things or implying things, surely, like, he would walk out of there with mussed up hair. Like, surely there's some ways you can indicate they've been fooling around that would be clear but not, you know, provocative or any way. But it just looks like, you know, they sat there and they talked for a while because he looks identical to when he went in there. Nope. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Helga, the maid, saw him. She will later testify on stand. Also, why didn't he want to wait for the elevator? So, as with every other successful and increasingly ambitious woman in the 30s, apparently, she's found her way to the dead animal hanging off of her shoulders level of societal uh, status. Oh, before I forget it, Mr. Carter called up. He's coming up for dinner. Yeah. Give the old boy Irish stew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hodges, we'll have coffee and liqueurs in here. Did Fuzzy Wuzzy enjoy his dinner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Why is your pet name for him Fuzzy Wuzzy? Mary Shelley, uh, up in that painting there, looks on in disappointment at your use of pet names. <laughs> Did the butler okay, have to I face know. us or face away, away from us at that angle? Chico's stay. All right, all right, all right. How would you like to have a nice grand piano in this room? Hmm? Thanks, no pianos. I used to hear one all day long. Why, did somebody in your home play the piano? Anybody that had a nickel. Hmm? Oh. oh, I was only kidding. Oh. <laughs> of course, if Fuzzy Wuzzy really wants to give me something, he could put a few more pennies in my bank account. My dear, ask me something difficult. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like how in all these movies the indiscretion itself doesn't really matter like once the the seductress is out of their life the original partner is just like oh yeah we're all good again no problem because that doesn't in any way make me suspicious about your reliability watching an actor's stew. 